What's up, everybody? It's Bear with BearIndependent.com. But you knew that already because you're here. This is a video response to Morgan at Rogue Preparedness. Good channel. I watch them. If uh, you're into preparedness, you might consider going and checking out Rogue Preparedness. R-O-G-U-E Preparedness. She was doing a video talking about how people seem to be eschewing the idea of the bug out bag as of late due to the pandemic. Her video was pretty well thought out, well executed. It was a good video. I'm probably not going to say anything that if you've been here for a while, you haven't heard already. And she and I have a lot of the same thoughts, but I figured because her video was so good, it was owed a video response. So first of all, the idea that you don't need a bug out bag because of the global pandemic and the lockdowns, <sighs> hogwash, hogwash. One always needs a bug out bag or a rucksack, or a get-home bag, or an inch bag, or I'm never coming home, bear, whatever, bro, <laughs> whatever floats your boat. I, I I don't care what nomenclature you use. I don't care how many letters you stack up into a fancy acronym. I don't care. You should have a bag with capabilities in it. That's what the bug-out bag is for. And it is for getting you from where things are bad to where things are less bad and or good, okay? It is to expediently move your carcass from point A to point B. It's not for bushcrafting some type of Abraham Lincoln-esque log home out in the wilderness while you go for a nice walk through the woods. No, we're leaving because things are bad. We're not taking our sweet time doing it either. So this, of course, necessitates that you understand what your bug out plan is the bug out plan is based upon the bug out location which means you should specify a bug out vehicle and in that bug out vehicle there is a bug out bag because ultimately all systems devolve into a man portable system you got to be able to carry your, the most important stuff on your back in case your car breaks down there's a roadblock you run out of fuel uh the road becomes impassable blah 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 okay so the bug out bag is incredibly important, but it's important. It's part of a system that is based around the bug out plan. Where are we going? Who's going there? When are we going there? What are our bug out indicators? How are we getting there? How long is it going to take to get there? Are there any resources that we've been placed along the way? Treat it like a mission. If you want it to succeed, treat it like a mission. <coughs> so... <laughs> so of course yes we want bug out bags we don't revere them and put them up on a pedestal like a lot of people a lot of preparedness minded individuals would do preppers man survivalists and the like you know what happens when you do that at least it's i've seen this many times you end up with the 97 pound inch bag that you can't carry too much it's too much so we don't revere them, we don't put them up on a pedestal, it's just a piece of kit. It's just a bag that contains the system to get us from here to there. Here's the deal, I live in the middle of nowhere, there's nothing out here that poses any immediate threat to me, but there are still things that may necessitate me bugging out. And while I am a big fan, in certain instances, of prepper fiction, Shout out to Survival Dispatch and A American, the Angry American. Yeah, I'm a big fan of those books. A worldwide and or localized EMP is not the only threat that we have to deal with. It could be an ice storm. It could be a snowstorm. It could be a volcano, a hurricane, a turniter, a mudslide. An actual pandemic where you are. It could be overwhelming force. We got to go. Okay? So just, just because I love it here and I've sunk a whole bunch of blood, sweat, and tears, time, and treasure into this place, we got to go. That's why you have a bug out plan so that when it's time to go, 
We know what we're taking, where we're going, who we're taking, how we're getting there, why we're going, when we're going to get there, how long it's going to take to get there, what routes we're going to take, so forth and so on. So regardless of where you live, you still need a bug out bag and a bug out plan because something could happen here. It could be a catastrophic fire. Got to go. You got 90 seconds. What do you grab? Your keys, your bug out bag, your children, get in the car, go. Onto a friend's house or alternate location Delta or whatever. Okay. I guess lastly, the idea that the global pandemic, all the air quotes and asterisks, the caveats and the yabbits, the global pandemic is a reason that we don't need a bug out bag. I don't know if you've noticed, but it's a tad bit extra tyrannical out there right now. I am leaning harder into preparedness than I ever have. And not from a tinfoil hat conspiracy theorists uh they're gonna land the mothership in my hayfield and i swear by joe they're gonna harvest our kidneys for adrenochrome y'all not because of that just because i can visually observe what is happening o is the first o in, or i'm sorry observe is the first o in oodle loop by the way observe orient decide act i've observed what is going on it's awful screwy I have oriented on the fact that it's awful screwy. I have decided that because it's awful screwy that I'm going to exercise even more personal responsibility and therefore I am acting in such a way that removes me from said screwy system as far as possible so that I can act, not be acted upon, so that I can be proactive, not reactive. So the idea that in today's geopolitical climate one would need a bug out bag less is just Gosh, nah, 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 not even a little bit. That being said, I can kind of get down with the, all of a sudden, the lack of reverence that the bug out bag is receiving by some, not all, but by some. I think that's a good thing because again, it's just a piece of kit. It's just a system that allows us to get from point A to point B. Don't put it on a pedestal, put it on your back and go use it so that when it matters, you actually can use it. Okay. Yeah. It's cold here. How cold is it? Barry? It's this cold. <sighs> okay. Don't put it on a pedestal, but don't don't be stuck on in the ditch over here. Bug out bags are the best thing ever and go all the way across the road and end up on the ditch over here. I don't need one at all. Uh, <laughs> a modicum of moderation would be a good thing. Don't put it on a pedestal, but don't completely do away with it either. Put it on your back instead and go use it. Go learn how to do the thing so that you can take your 97 pound inch bag. I'm never coming home bag down to a... 30 to 50 pound rucksack that has all the capabilities that you need to get from wherever you are to wherever you're going. And that's part of why I don't trip over all the rabbit holes of the nomenclature of what people call these bags because I don't care. I carry a rucksack and it has capability in it. If I have to get from my office to my house, good to go. Bag on my back, start stepping. If I got to get from here to alternate location, Delta, put the bag on my back, start stepping, good to go. Same capabilities. Right. If I'm never coming home again, guess what? I'm taking that bag, I'm putting it on my back, and I'm going to start stepping. It's the same thing. I don't care. Man. Is that your get home bag or your bug out bag or your inch bag or your day bag or your... <sighs> Whatever, man. Whatever. You dress your Barbie doll however you want. Mine's pretty basic. Carhartt Brown and Coyote Tan, right? <laughs> so... Don't fall into the trap of thinking you don't need a bug out bag. You do. But don't revere the damn thing either. It's not the ultimate piece of kit. The ultimate piece of kit is right here. And I would submit right here. In between your ears and in the middle of your chest. You got those two things right? The rest of it matters a lot less. Is it nice? 
to have 50 pounds of gear to help you survive and thrive in SHTF without rule of law. The end of the world as we know it. Yeah, that's nice stuff. It's good to have for sure. I'd much rather be able to make a shelter with a tarp and a whoopee than have to make a debris hut and crawl into it. For sure. Do I need it? No. I got this. So instead of putting 100 pounds of gear on your back, go use that stuff. Go learn how to do the things. Pitch all the garbage, the gimmicky stuff. How are you going to charge your cell phone when you're bugging out without this little trifold solar thing? Have you used one of those? I had somebody send me one. They're like, we want you to review this. I was like, I don't think you do. It's garbage. Anyway. You don't learn what's a gimmick. You don't learn what doesn't work unless you go do it. So, video response to Rogue Preparedness to Morgan. She's got a handful of cool stickers on her refrigerator as well. Y'all probably recognize them, Bear Nation. If you're not subscribed, go over to Rogue Preparedness and subscribe. Say hi to that nice lady and her family and her little kids. They're out there in the middle of nowhere. Different nowhere than we are, but in the middle of nowhere, doing the things, off-grid, camper life. <laughs> taking personal responsibility for them and theirs in the face of whatever comes next. So don't ditch the bug out bag. Don't bow down to it either. It's just a thing. But yeah, more than ever, I think you need one. The global pandemic as an excuse to not have one is, ah, that's probably the dumbest thing I've heard this week. Bless y'all. Shalom.